All right, hey Scorpio. So I'm doing a singles read going into 2022. It's a 30 day intention read. So as long as you resonate with your energy that I pull, this is gonna be your read. So make sure you maintain positive, positive energy, high vibration. All right, and what I'm doing with the Oracle cards is I'm going to pull to see first what this person, how this person will be enhancing your life. Wow, Scorpio the divine feminine so this person coming through for you um definitely this is the only i only have um the water signs left and i have two more reads but the divine feminine has not come out on any of the reads so the person coming towards you is here all right to show you to bring balance to your divine feminine aspects okay maybe to acknowledge that you are on a twin flame journey especially dealing with divine feminine and masculine energies it doesn't have to be twin flame um this is not a there's no emphasis on return of the past or new love so keep that in mind you guys but this person coming towards towards you is here to show you your divine feminine qualities now if you're a man don't click off this because what this means is that this person's coming through to show you um, more energy exchanges on how to treat the divine feminine um, it could be too that you're raising up or, you know that this person's helping you raise up to kind of balance the and trigger the divine feminine and masculine within you when you think about divine feminine and divine masculine we all have both energies already inside of us all right so this person coming through to you is just kind of triggering that awakening within you um and so what they're going to help you do is pull to see your value your authenticity um and who you are at your core okay so this is like the removal of ego worry and all that other um, negative energy that kind of comes through this is this is beautiful the fact that this person's coming through to show you that essence within you um that's phenomenal because there's only been three out of um the 10 that i've done so far that have come out with a divine um counterpart okay so let's see what you are what let's see what you're going to be showing this person scorpio what are you showing this person what are you bringing to their life emotional freedom wow look at that so as you guys progress throughout this dynamic this person's going to really um, promote um, your growth all right and what you're going to do is you're going to help this person liberate themselves from any emotional shackles all right and it's not to say that this person couldn't be your divine counterpart it's not to say they couldn't be the divine masculine um, but what you're doing is helping free this person from burdens stress worries and everything that has built up and and, and stemmed inside of them from probably growth okay um, so if this person was taught not to share their feelings not to be expressive you are showing them that um hey you're safe with me i'm home i can be home i'm security i'm comfort you know what i mean so you guys are just a bomb ass pair scorpio like this is awesome energy divine feminine and emotional freedom coming out that's liberation to the max if you ask me so let's see what scorpios we're talking to your energy what is your energy you got the king of wands so you could be um you definitely could be a scorpio sagittarius um cusp it doesn't have to be but the king of wands energy you could have a lot of eyes on you people look at you as a natural born leader um you know you could be an entrepreneur you could have your own shit going on um but this is like really being in the spotlight okay um i feel like you desire love you want to know about love you want to know if it's coming to you and spirit saying you got you got to keep your thoughts positive because you're also coming through as kind of guarded right now all right so maybe um you're dealing with somebody from the past that kind of hurt you so you have walls up it doesn't have to be this is no emphasis on new or old love but definitely you want to let down these guards um when you feel the energy is coming up for this person that's supposed to be entering your life definitely you want to lower those guards um this is also like a wall i'm not letting anybody in not just anybody can have access to me that's what you're saying scorpio but you do wonder is my love coming through you know when's it my turn um and you're not like detracting from anyone else you're not jealous you're not being moody over anyone else's successes when it comes to love but you do hope and wish that you know it is for you um especially if you're on a spiritual journey you know it's hard to find people who are in alignment with us all right so let's see who's coming towards you who is coming towards scorpio 
next 30 days. There, there, it's going to be somebody who comes in pretty swiftly. You're probably not going to be expecting the communication. Um, lots of communication. All right. With the um, Ace of Swords, that tells me that you guys um, qu uh, quite possibly have never been in a committed relationship. It's new love, potentially. Um, but the Ace of Swords, this person is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Virgo energy with the Ten of Pentacles. And with the Eight of Wands, we have Sagittarius. So it could be any of those signs. It doesn't have to be. Um, but it's almost like this person's going to come through and just shock you to your core with the communication. All right. Um, you could actually know this person. And you guys have never went past like a friend level. And then all of a sudden there's a soul shocker that comes through. So keep that in mind. That could be a possibility. All right. But this person, they got their shit together. They have life going on. They're independent. I feel like they make money. They do good by themselves. Okay. Um, they don't need anybody. Um, if anything, they just, they, they need the expression of what you're here to give them. Emotional freedom. You know, um, this person's going to be a communicator. They're going to be one that shows and tells you what they want. Um, you know, there's going to be no hiding, no hiding behind ego in this situation. I really don't feel like it, especially if they're kind of promoting that divine feminine aspect in you. So let's see a little bit more about what this person's like. Um, so we have Taurus, we have Scorpio and with the seven of wands, we have Leo. Um, this, so this person has been there. They definitely, um, they're learning how to take care of themselves. They've definitely weathered a lot of storms with the tower card coming through. They've been through a lot, but it's like they have gone through emotional and spiritual changes. Um, they might not still be able to talk to just any old person, but that's where you come through and you allow that person to open up and be expressive towards you. Okay. With the seven of wands coming through, um, whether you have been with this person or not, or you know of this person, they, they carry you in their heart, split, their, their heart pace, their heart space. Um, and even if you haven't met this person, that's how it's going to be carried into the dynamic. All right. With the Hierophant card coming through, I feel like it is a spiritual connection coming through a very, very um, uh, illuminating spiritual connection. We have the Hierophant. We have the Divine Feminine. All right. Um, I just feel like this right here is saying this person only thinks about you. They're only going to care about you. Not in a selfish way, but you're not going to have to question anything about yourself. Um, so if you have had to question situations in the past, this person's definitely going to come through and you will not have to question any situation of the past. It's like, no doubts. This is, this is, this is the one, this is it. Um, but this person has been through a lot. They're coming into this acknowledgement that it's all about me and I have to take care of myself. And that could be where you come in and kind of promote that self growth. All right. Through that emotional freedom. This person may have been through so much shit. They can't talk to anybody, but you come through like a little pillow. They can lay their head on, you know, in your lap and, and you guys can just talk and just exchange positive and warm energy with each other. I don't know. I just feel so comfortable with this for you guys. So let's see how it unfolds. What's going to be going on around you when this connection starts to happen for Scorpio. How is this unfolding for Scorpio? Ooh. Look at that. So you could be seeing a lot of sixes, 666. Six, six. That's an angel number to remind you to keep your thoughts positive. All right. Look, you got the two of cups, soulmate, soulmate. And then you have the nine of swords. I feel like spirit's just saying you might be worried. You might be a little bit stressed that things aren't happening for you, that it's not going to come around. That maybe, you know what, maybe just maybe, um, you know, it's not for me. So I'm just going to be guarded and, and keep my, 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 you know, I don't want to get hurt, you know. Um, but, you know, what spirit's saying is you're going to be feeling a lot more heavier energy before right before this person comes through all right and then boom it's going to hit you um this is a communication right here all right this could be a, a return of the past person it doesn't have to be um but the six of cups is just after you get through whatever emotions you're going through maybe if you're dealing with some um, inner turmoil um right after that inner turmoil kind of passes you're going to be receiving um news or messages or communication from this person this is a big communication card the two of cups um and especially for those of you dealing with um a soulmate um a return of the past if you have been feeling really 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 heavy energy that's when this person's gonna they're gonna make their way here okay and if you're new and you don't have anybody on your mind it's the heavy it's after you go through your little heavy shadowy um situation that 
there's going to be um, a, a, an entering. And if it's not somebody from your past, it's definitely a past life soul contract coming through. Okay. So let's see what your advice is for now. Your advice for now. You did, oh, you guys just have to keep your thoughts positive. Scorpio, look at that. I, you know, keep your thoughts positive. Make sure your heart space is open to receiving this. Um, you, this is like, you got to be open to receiving the universe. hears that better than anything else. So when the, op when the universe is, hears your vibration, which is no sound, it's not really talking. It's, uh, it's a telepathic and energetic exchange. Once the universe can see that you've opened yourself up, you guys will be receiving something that brings a super huge balance to your heart space. All right. So I'm going to pull some initials to see who we're talking to. It could be your initials. It could be this new person that you've never met coming in. So don't, don't discount the initials. Um, what do we got? We have Y, S, F. And if your initials or their initials don't show up as confirmation, it's fine. You guys, the energy is exchanged through the cards. Okay. J, O, and I. All right, I'm leaving it there. You guys take care, Scorpio.